Satnam Aloha. So we've been in the season of the spleen. The month of October, all the gates of the spleen will have been activated. So the splenic awareness system, this is our immune system. It governs our physical survival on the material plane. And all of our primal fears live here. This is our most ancient awareness system as a humanity. So the splenic awareness system pushes us to deal with fear. And you've been probably dealing with fear at some level all month long. And maybe you're repressing the fear or you're den in denial that it's even there. But it's this background hum, right? It's a vibration that lives in the body. It's just always there, especially now because we're all connected. So right now we've got Mercury in the 48. And this is the fear of inadequacy. Right? So I don't have what it takes to survive. I can't handle the challenges in life. Right? How, can, how am I going to earn money? How am I going to find a place to live? Worrying that you don't have the skills. You don't have what it takes. Right? So thinking about this because it's in Mercury, talking about these things. And then we've got Mars in the 32nd gate. And this is the fear of failure. I won't be able to survive. And the ultimate failure is not keeping your vehicle alive, your body alive in this lifetime, right? I can, and the thoughts are, I can't make that decision because how will I support myself? How will I earn money? What if I fail? I can't do that. So it holds us back from growing. And then the sun is in the 50th gate, and this is fear of responsibility. So let's focus on this gate since it's in the sun position and 70% of all the neutrinos come from the sun. So this is an important position. So the battle right now is between walking the path of fear and walking the path of faith. And when we walk the path of fear, it means we're not trusting the divine. And when we don't allow our authority to be the divine, right? Then we're going to be ruled by bullies and tyrants, right? Because something's got to step in. So remember that fear lowers our sense of empathy. It puts us in a state of survival, and then our thoughts become selfish, egoic. It's all about me and my needs. And we go into the animal self. So remember that we're three parts, one part angel, one part human, one part animal. So our thinking becomes very limited and we'll accept any quick fix that's offered to us because we want to get rid of this fear. It's very uncomfortable. So this is our ancestral fear coming to the surface. And it's not really about the physical details out here. They only serve to bring up that ancient fear, right? So that we can transcend it. Remember, as, as we evolve into the Aquarian age, we face our deepest fears, and our deepest fears are our ancestral fears. So we're going to look more closely at this 50th gate. It's the gate of values. It's the shadow of corruption. It's the gift of harmony. So it's the fear of responsibility, fear of taking responsibility for our lives. Now, it comes from the channel of nurturing the 50, 27. This is a very human channel. And the battle is between our animal self and our human self. So one of the qualities of our humanness that makes us human is that we care for each other, right? We care for those that are vulnerable and weak. So the 50th is the gate of values. So we've lost sight of our intrinsic values. Our values have become distorted or corrupted. And humans are now seen as a commodity, something to be exploited and manipulated for monetary gain. Humans are seen as an object without a soul. And when an object becomes not of use anymore, well, it becomes a liability. What do we do? Well, we toss it aside. We get rid of it. So vulnerability and weakness, they don't help with the bottom line. They don't help with profits, right? Profit-driven world that we live in. So the world is our mirror. 
And we're seeing the ugly underbelly of our world. This is the shadow. So remember in the Aquarian age, the unconscious is being made conscious. And through this experience, right, since 2020, we're in the seven-year cycle of experience until 2027 that I talk about in my webinar. We've seen many people corrupted by money and selfishness. Yes, they've always been there, but now we're seeing it very clearly. So instead of living from our authentic human values, we've been imposed upon with other values, corrupt values, right? Many are willing to throw our fellow human beings under the bus, right? These people out here, they're not following the status quo. They're not obeying the rules. So let the, let's make them second-class citizens. This completely goes against our human nature. And if you listen closely to your intuition, like your body intuition, not your third eye, but your body, you're going to feel this unease in your body. And you know that something's not quite right in the world, right? Because our bodies are communicating to us the truth in every moment, but this gets buried under the frequency of fear, right? So we become very vulnerable in that sense, crippled in a way. So the vulnerable and weak, right? Well, right away, it's the children. It's the children on the planet. So we need to really come together to protect the children. And as soon as we lose sight of this responsibility, our human responsibility, we're doomed as a species, right? If we throw the children under the bus, we are doomed as a species because it's our natural instinct to protect the young and care for the young. And it doesn't matter if these children are connected to us through blood or not. It's, 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 not, it's an instinct in every human being. So this channel will awaken, right, to give us a strong sense of responsibility towards our community. So this is a powerful urge to protect the values, the laws and the rules that guarantee the well-being of communities and the structures that uphold them right? The laws that protect our human rights, they are all under attack, right? So to challenge any laws that are coming, right, that infringe upon these basic human rights, this channel will awaken in, in us. So you may have seen this story in the news. Just, uh, I read it this week, actually. So it's four teenage boys in Canada, and they saw a well-dressed older man with a drunk teenage girl in a parking garage. This is like the middle of the day. So they asked the girl if she was okay. And then the man said he was her father and was taking her home, right? And everything's okay. So something didn't quite feel right to the boys, right? And their instinct was to follow the man and the girl into the stairway. And there they saw the man sexually assaulting the teenage girl. Right. So they intervened and the man got violent with the boys, but he ran away. Right. And three of them chased him down and pinned him down until the police arrived. And then uh, the other boy stayed with the girl to make sure she was OK. So the boys told the police that their instinct was to follow them. Their instinct was the man was lying. There is something not quite right with this. So this is this channel at work right? This channel of nurturing, but it's also Jupiter in the 49, which I talked about in my last video. And this is all about standing up for your principles, not just having them, but actually acting on them, standing up for them. And so how many times do you think that people have just looked away? Maybe you've done this yourself when they saw that something didn't seem quite right, right? This is the fear holding you back, the fear of taking responsibility. Ah, someone else will deal with it, right? Well, if people did intervene, they could probably prevent it a lot of human suffering by simply acting on their instincts to protect. So why don't people do this more? Have you ever asked yourself why? Like, why, why don't people intervene? Why don't people stand up? Well, this is the father wound. 
We live on a planet of traumatized children in adult bodies. And we've been programmed as children to obey authority without question. And this usually comes in the form of men because we live in a patriarchy, right? And by doing this, we disobey our own natural instincts. So this father wound has been passed down from generation to generation to generation. And now we're seeing just how much our authorities are corrupt without the human values, without human values like integrity, honesty, responsibility, respect for all, right? So people are longing for that correct father energy that protects, right? Because most of them, 99% of them haven't experienced this. And the worst thing for a child is not to feel protected and safe by the father, right? So adults are ruled by that insecure inner child that's fearful, that's never felt safe on this planet. And they're looking for anyone, anything to take away this fear, right? So they're looking for a quick fix without taking any responsibility. And this means they're quick to abdicate their power. So when corrupt authorities say, we'll protect you, this, it's just for your safety, just do as we say, obey, follow the rules, people are very quick to fall in line, even to their detriment. And this is this inner traumatized child. So what happens when children don't feel protected? They don't feel safe. They don't feel cared for. What kind of future do you think that creates? Well, we're seeing it now, a society of insecure, fearful, selfish adults ruled by the ego, right? So the belief is like, they may not even be conscious of it, but it's like, well, I wasn't protected or cared for as a child. It's just the way the world, world is. I got to harden myself up and screw everybody else. I'll just take care of me and my needs and get what I, what I can get. Right? So these are the kinds of values that need to change, right? That need to mutate and change for the Aquarian age. So imagine a world where the inner child is healed, where there are actual adults on the planet, right? That will intervene, that will respond to their instincts and protect the most vulnerable and weak among us. This is our responsibility, right? Not to look away. And it takes courage, right? How do we get there? Inner child work. It takes courage to do your inner child work. It takes courage to do your shadow work. And this is not a waste of your time and energy as we've been taught, right? It's the only way out of this mess that we find ourselves in. So responsibility, taking responsibility is to say the buck stops here with me. The trauma, the generational ancestral trauma stops with me. I'm ready to grow up into a spiritual adult. I'm ready to integrate the shadow, right? This trauma, this wound. So there's nobody coming to save us. There's nobody coming. We're each our own savior. And those outside authorities will not protect you. They'll not protect me. They're not going to keep us safe. It's the complete opposite. They're only showing us that we must get aligned with our true authority, which is the divine. It's all it's showing. As soon as we do that, we don't need them anymore. They just disappear, right? They have no power anymore. So if we aren't governed by the divine, then we will be ruled by bullies and tyrants. It's simple as that. Right? So a reminder that to get to this place of self-empowerment, you can take my six weeks to heal your inner child program. And also the second part of my webinar series, Healing the Father Wound, is this Sunday. And we'll be looking at the shadow and gift that you've inherited from your father, grandfather, great-grandfather, according to your chart. Okay? So all links are found below. So trust your instincts during this transit and respond to your instincts. Do what's right, right? And dig out any corruption 
any values that are not aligned with your authenticity, that maybe you've inherited or you've taken in through your programming. Like really dig this out and take responsibility for your choices, for what you see in your life, in your world. Don't look away. And what happens? We all come into harmony as a humanity. And this is the gift of the 50th gate, right? A reminder of what makes us human. Okay, so I want to thank everyone who has donated to me or participated in my programs and services. I want to thank you very much. And thank you for subscribing, ringing the bell, and sharing. Thank you for leaving your comments. Okay, you can follow me on Telegram, Instagram, Odyssey, and Facebook. I post on Instagram and Facebook and Telegram daily. But yet, better yet, sign up for my free newsletter so we can stay connected. These platforms go down. And I always add a little bit more in my newsletter beyond the video because things come to me after I upload it. Okay, you can find all that information at the top of the information box. And enjoy your day and evening, and I'll see you in the next video. Or better yet, I'll see you this Sunday, right? Come and join others that are doing this work to integrate the father wound so that we can really stand in our power, right? And there's still time to join in. Okay, so I'll see you later. Satnam Roma.